Oh, give up, Papa. No, she here. Oh, how she young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hanxiang, Hanxiang. Hm. Ah, Initiation is to Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vinda So today is the most auspicious day of the appearance day of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. So Lord Nityananda, his identity is described for us that we say Brajendranandana se Sachisuta Haila He Balaram Hailo Nitai. The, the son of Sachi is Lord Krishna and Balaram appears as Nitai or Nityananda. So Lord Nityananda is non different from just as Balaram is not different from Krishna, Lord Nityananda is not different from Lord Chaitanya. The only difference between Krishna and Balaram was in their color. Lord Krishna was the blackish color and Balaram was white. But now in the Kali Yuga, Krishna and Balaram have come as Gornitai. And Lord Chaitanya has come in a golden color. And Lord Nityananda, he is more darkish color. Uh, 
But Lord Nityananda, he appeared in a different place from Lord Chaitanya. Lord Nityananda appeared in a place called Eka Chakra, which is in a region, it's in a region called Radha Desh. Now usually the Lord will appear in a holy place and holy places are usually found at the side of the river Ganges. We see like Mayapur is at the, beside the Ganga and Benares. These places, they're all beside the Ganga. And Vrindavan is beside the river Yamuna. The Yamuna is a tributary of the Ganges. So, Lord Nityananda appears in Eka Chakra and he was born in a, his father was a very devoted Brahmin. His name was Harai Pandit or Harai Oja. Mother's name was called Padmavati. Oh, I wanted to explain to you that this Eka Chakra, although it's not beside the Ganges, it's a holy place. Because they say, wherever the Pandavas stayed, that was a holy place. And the Pandavas had come there 5,000 years ago, they stayed there. So Eka Chakra is a, it's a village, you know, you go there to Eka Chakra, you feel like you're back in China, it's just like a Chinese village. <laughs> You'll see there's many cows and buffaloes in the, in the, in the narrow streets. And because there's no Ganga, there's no Ganga there, so they can only, they only get one, one season when they can plant, you know, they have to wait for the rainy season and then they plant. Oh, Mostly, you know, it's all the people grow rice. They grow their paddy, the rice. And they have to wait for the rains to come and then they can plant. They go in the fields and do the planting. So 500 years ago, when Lord Nityananda appeared there, Eka Chakra was a very opulent place. There was no poverty there. People were all very wealthy. The Eka Chakra is a very wealthy place. 
We think that all oh, people in the village, they're all poor people, they, they don't have any wealth. We think, oh, it's only the people in the city who make money and who have wealth and they have their motor cars and the people in the countryside, they're just all poor people. But 5,000 years ago, when Krishna and Balaram appeared in Vrindavan, Vrindavan was very opulent, very wealthy, because the, the real wealth is not in gold, the real wealth is not in factories and business, the real wealth is in growing food, growing grains and having cows. And even five, 500 years ago also, it wasn't so different. Most of all the wealth was in the countryside, in the rural areas. People who did the farming, who produced the food and who had the cows, they were the really wealthy people. There's a, there's a pastime which says that the different demigods all reside within Mother Cow. So Mother Lakshmi, she didn't have a place in the cow and she was begging, please give me a place, I also want to be in the cow. So they told Lakshmi that, no, you know, you're, you're not a very nice thing. Lakshmi is not a very good thing. It's a very contaminated thing. It's passed from one person to another. It's not so pure. It contaminates people. People get you, they become proud. So the, they told Mother Lakshmi, anyway, we'll give you one place you can reside. You can reside in cow dung. <laughs> and that's the principle even today. You see, actually, real wealth is there in cow dung because cow dung is a very important fuel for people. It, is, is used as a fuel for cooking and heating. So 500 years ago, Lord Nityananda appeared in the village of Eka Chakra and his mother and father, he, he was the oldest son of his mother and father, so they were deeply attached to him. So, 
the mother and father, they could not take their eyes off their son. Wherever he went, the, the mother and father would be worried. Where did he go? And they were all, always with him. They never wanted him to go away from them. Of course, he had a very auspicious uh, bodily feature. His arms were long down to his knees, and his eyes were like lotuses, they were spread across his face. So all the children in the village, they used to get together, and it was Nitai, later on became Nityananda, but he was called Nitai as a young boy. Nitai was... Nitai was the leader of all the young children, and he would organize them to do dramas. <laughs> and they would, all the dramas would be dramas of of Lord Krishna and his different pastimes. And they would they would do all the different dramas. One child would play the part of Lord of uh, Mother Bhumi and Mother Bhumi would go to Lord Brahma and complain about all the demonic kings burdening the earth. And then Lord Brahma would go to pray to Shirodakshai, Vishnu, and Sweta Dweep. Children would be playing all of these different parts. One child would be Bhumi, one child would be Brahma, another one would be Vishnu. And then they would do the, the birth of Lord Krishna and Vasudev and Devaki and Lord Krishna would appear to them in the prison of Kamsa. And the children would, would absorb themselves day after day, performing all these different pastimes. And then they would do the different pastimes of different incarnations of Lord Krishna. All the people, the older people in the village would be watching and they would be wondering, how do they know all of these things? We don't even know these Leelas, we don't even, we never heard these pastimes, we never heard about all these incarnations, how do they know? How did they know? Because Nitai, Nitai knows, Nitai is Lord Balaram and he knows all these things. So one day they were performing Ramlila 
and they were enacting the Battle of Lanka. So in Ram Lila, Lord Balaram is Lakshman. So Nitai takes the part of Lakshman. Yeah, Lakshman is the younger brother of Lord Drama and he always serves Lord Drama. And the same way Lord Balarama is always the servant of Lord Krishna. And we will see also how Lord Nityananda, he is always in the mood of service to Lord Chaitanya. So they were enacting the Battle of Lanka and Nitai was playing the part of Lakshman and then this one boy was playing the part of Ravan and he came and you know in the Ram, Ramayan, Ravana throws a weapon, he throws a Shakti weapon at Lakshman and he knocks Lakshman unconscious. Oh. So the boy who was playing the part of Ravan, he took a lotus flower to, and, he, and he threw the lotus flower just like Ravan threw the Shakti weapon at Lakshman. This boy threw a lotus flower into the chest of Lord Nityananda, into the chest of Nitai. And so Nitai, when he got hit by the lotus flower, he fell over, oh, and he fell down, and he went, and he actually, he actually became unconscious. So the boys were playing and, the, and then they, they saw Nitai fall down unconscious and then they didn't know what to do. And the older people, they also came and they saw, oh, what happened? What's wrong with Nitai? Why is he like this? Then there was nothing they could do to revive Lakshman. But then they remembered that Nitai had told them that remember to enact the drama. Don't stop enacting the drama. So one boy said, okay, I will be Hanuman and I will go to Ganga Madana mountain and I will bring the special herbs from the mountain which can revive Lakshman. So the one boy who was Hanuman, he flew off 
And he came back very quickly, holding up the mountain. And quickly they, they got some herbs from the mountain and they prepared, and they ground them a little bit and put them in front of the nose of Nitai and he came back to consciousness. <laughs> like this, Nitai would have the children every day absorbed in Krishna conscious pastimes. So all the children, they loved being with Nitai. They were all very attached, just like the cowherd boys were so attached to Krishna. So all the boys in Eka Chakra, they all had so deep love for Nitai. But the, the, Nitai was seeing how much his mother and father were attached to him, that he could not go anywhere without them. Whatever he would do, he would have to, the father would be with him or the mother would be there. One of them had to be there with him all the time. So it was arranged that by the will of the Lord it happened that a sannyasi came there to Eka Chakra because we said Eka Chakra is also a holy place. So at different times, different holy men would come there. And so this sannyasi came there to Eka Chakra and Sannyasis usually they, they they don't cook for the, usually they'll be invited to someone's home to take their food. So Nitai's father, Harai Pandit, he invited the sannyasi, please come to my home and take your meals in my home. And Harai Pandit told the sannyasi, whatever way I can serve you, please tell me, I will be very happy to serve you. So the sannyasi said, yes, all right. He said, after some time, before I leave, I will, I will tell you what you can do for me. And so Padmavati, mother of Nitai, she prepared the food and they, the, the Harai Pandit, he served the sannyasi, he brought all the food and they fed the sannyasi very nicely, he was very pleased. And the sannyasi actually stayed the night there. And then the next morning, it's time for him to go. 
那么那天呢，嗯，这位 Sanyasi 他还在他在 p a n t 的家住了一晚上，而到第二天呢，就是他要离开的时间了。So the Sanyasi said to Nitai's father, he said, "Do you want to serve me? Would you like to do some service for me?" 然后呢，这个 Sanyasi 在走之前，他就问他在 p a n t 说。Uh, 你你是不是想要为我做些服务呀 ？And Harai Pandit, he said, "Oh yes, whatever I can do for you, please tell me. I'd be happy to serve you." Harai Pandit 说，当然了，不管我能够做什么，这是我最大的荣幸了。So the Sanyasi said, he said, "You know, I'm I'm traveling alone, and I'm going to visit all the holy places. So because I'm a Sanyasi, I, you know, I." If I have to cook for myself, it's a lot of trouble. It's very difficult to be on my own to to cook, to go everywhere, and to get the food and make the fire and to cook and everything. Very difficult for me to do all these things on my own. They said I really need an assistant to come with me to travel with me. So, 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 然后呢，嗯，我到每一个地方，然后呃，要生活，要去找食物、做饭，特别麻烦。所以呢，现在我其实特别需要有一个助手来协助我，跟我一起旅行，然后协助我这一切。所以，所以 said your oldest son, he is a, he would be good that he can come with me. He said I will take him to all the holy places, and I will protect him with my life. I will. Make sure he's safe. You don't have to worry. So just give your son to me. Let him come and travel with me. Then the Sanyasi said, "So, I think your son is the right person. And I will use my life to protect his safety. So please let him come with me. Then the Sanyasi said, "So, I think your son is the right person. And I will use my life to protect his safety. So please let him come with me. Then the Sanyasi said, "So, I think your son is the right person. And I will use my life to protect his safety. So please let him come with me. Then the Sanyasi said, "So, I think your son is the right person. And I will use my life to protect his safety. So please let him come with me. Then the Sanyasi said, "So, I think your son is the right person. And I will use my life to protect his safety. So please let Uh, Nitai, rather, Nitai is twelve years old. He's not a very big boy. He's not fully grown. He's only twelve years old. 当时的 Nitai 呢是十二岁，也就是说还没有完全长大啊，还是一个小男孩的样子。And it was really a heavy. Ah,、uh, it was it was very unexpected that the Sanyasi would ask to take the boy. 所以呢，这个 Sanyasi 他提出的这个呃想法或者请求的话，其实是完全出乎意料的，就是他要把这个孩子，他们的大儿子带走。But Harai Pandit knew that he said, "I've already given my word to the Sanyasi that I told him I would serve whatever he wanted. If I don't serve him, if I don't give him my son, then it will be very bad for me." 然后呢，他在看着他，他也在想说，哎呀，但是我已经承诺了，我要不管他有什么样的什么样的服务，我都承诺要要要做做出这个服务的。如果我反悔的话，那对我也会有很大的。And Harai Pandit remembered how in Ramayana, Vishwamitra came to the palace of Maharaj Dasarath to ask Maharaj Dasarath to give his son. Oh Maharaj, sorry. Can you repeat? Because just now there's a phone coming, so we we didn't hear you. Okay. That uh, Ma Harai Pandit remembered a pastime from Raman Ramayana. In the Ramayana, it happened that Vishwamitra, a great sage, came to the palace of Maharaj Dasarath, and he told Maharaj Dasarath. That I want, I need your son to come with me. So, 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 Maharaj Dasarath, he didn't want to give his son. He didn't want Lord Rama to go with that sage. So, the sage was quite angry. So, 当时呢，这个 Maharaj Dasarath 
世的国王呢是呃呃 d a s a r a t m a h a r a j d a s a r a t 他其实很不愿意啊，让自己的长子 Rama 跟着这个圣人走的，所以这个圣人很生气。But then Vashista, who is the guru of Maharaj Dasarath, he came there and he told him, he said, "It's no harm. You can give your son to Vishwamitra. No, no harm will come to your son. You don't have to worry." 然后当时呢，就是 Dasarath 他的灵性导师 Vashista。就出现在了现场，他就告诉达萨拉特说：“你应该把你的儿子交给 v i s m a m i t r a 这个圣人，因为啊、呃，你把儿子交给他的话呢，不会有任何的危险。” So Harai Pandit went to see his wife, and he told his wife what had happened: that the sannyasi wants to take Nitai with him. 所以呢，哈达潘特就去到他妻子那里啊，就跟他的妻子说啊，你看这个世人，他要把我们的儿子带走。And he asked his wife, "What should I do?" So his wife said, "Well, it's up to you. You're 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 the father. You decide. Whatever you decide, I will accept." 然后呢？嗯、uh, ，这个哈达帕特斯就问他的妻子的意见，然后这个妻子就回答说：“嗯、um, ，你看你是父亲，所以呢，你的决定啊， uh, 我我都会来接受的。” So Nitai went off with the sannyasi at the age of twelve. He went away with the sannyasi, and. 所以尼泰在十二岁的时候呢，他就跟萨尼亚西啊出去旅行了。And after Nitai left Eka Chakra, then Eka Chakra was no more. This life, all the young boys were so feeling the separation from Nitai, and everything. Nitai 离开 Eka Chakra 之后 ，Eka Chakra 这个地方完全失去了生机，而所有的孩子们呢，他们不再有 Nitai 呃带领他们玩。So twelve year old, at twelve years of age. Nitai went off with the sannyasi. So Nitai 呢，他就在十二岁的时候跟着这位 sannyasi 去旅行，他啊旅行去了各个圣地去朝拜。They went north, south, east, west, all over. 啊，东南西北各个方向都去了，所有的这些圣地都去到了。And after many years, they came to Vrindavan. And Nitai was there in Vrindavan, and he was in the holy land of Braja. So, many years later, Nitai he went to Vrindavan, to the holy land of Braja, Vrindavan's holy land, the holy land of Braja. So, when he was in Vrindavan, he was going to visit the temples of Krishna, but he he said, "I'm not finding Krishna anywhere." Where is Krishna? So when Nitai he went to Vrindavan, he visited all the temples in Vrindavan. But he said, "Where is Krishna? Where is he? Why can't I find Krishna?" So he was asking the people, "What happened? Where did Krishna go?" And the people said, "Oh, Krishna went to Vrindavan." So he was asking the people, "What happened? Where did Krishna go?" And the people said, "Oh, Krishna's gone to Mayapur. He's in Mayapur there. You have to go to Mayapur. He's performing sankirtan in Mayapur." 然后呢，你太监问，到处问别人说，哎 ，Krishna 在哪儿呢 ？Krishna 在哪儿呢？然后呢，在圣地的居民们就告诉他，哦 ，Krishna 去玛雅普了 ，Krishna 去玛雅普了，他在那儿显现了。So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had appeared in the holy land of Mayapur. And he's much younger, quite a bit younger than Nitai. And Lord Chaitanya, he was known as Nimai. So you have Nimai as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nitai as Nityananda. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 呢，他就在玛雅普显现。那么他是比啊尼泰呢年轻很多，所以啊尼啊尼迈呢，他就啊就崔泰亚玛卡布，他就以尼迈在玛雅普显现了。So Nimai was a as a young boy he was a scholar and he was a pundit, but.
But then he took initiation and he became a great devotee and he began to do Sankirtan. And the Sankirtan, of course, was performed in the beginning at the home of Srivas Thakur. So it was at this time Lord Nityananda decided to come to Mayapur. So Lord Chaitanya, one day he told the devotees, he said, you know, I had a dream. He said, a very special person is going to come here to Mayapur to join us. And Lord Chaitanya described his dream. He said, in my dream, I saw this personality. He was very tall and very powerfully built. And he told me he was my brother. And he said, I'm going to come there and I'll be with you. So Lord Chaitanya was telling this to the devotees and he told them this person is going to come in a few days. And so the, the devotees were hearing Lord Chaitanya, but they didn't take it very seriously. But then after two days, Lord Chaitanya told the devotees, you know that personality who was in my dream, now he's arrived in Mayapur. And so the devotees were surprised. They said, well, where is he? Why is he not here? So Lord Chaitanya selected Srivas Pandit and Haridas Thakur. That you go, you go and find him, and you go and find that personality, bring him to us. So Srivas and Haridas, for nine hours, they went everywhere in Mayapur, and they went to the homes of all the different people. They went to the Grihastas, they went to the Brahmacharis, they went to the atheists, they went every home looking for this personality. But even after nine hours of searching, they couldn't find him. And after nine hours, they came back to Lord Chaitanya and they told him, we looked everywhere, we can't find him anywhere. This shows that Lord Nityananda is a very confidential personality. Not everyone, he, not everyone can understand or know who is Lord Nityananda. 
Even great devotees, even great devotees like Srivas Pandit and Harijas Thakur, who are Mahabhagavat devotees, even they couldn't find out Lord Nityananda. So Lord Chaitanya said, I will take you. You just follow me. So they had a they made so they made one Sankirtan party and they were chanting and Lord Chaitanya was leading them and they went to the home of Nandan Acharya. This home of Nandan Acharya it is right next door to our Mayapur temple. So Lord Chaitanya brought all the devotees there and they entered into the home of Nandanacharya and they saw this wonderful personality, very tall, majestic, with long shoulder length hair, very handsome, and he was sitting chanting the holy name absorbed in chanting the holy names of Krishna. And when Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda met each other, it was like they had did not it's like of course they could they knew each other, but they had not been with each other for a long time. So it was a, a very intense reunion. And they embraced each other in great ecstasy. So the other devotees, they didn't, they didn't know who is Lord Nityananda. And Lord Chaitanya wanted them to understand the position of Lord Nityananda. So Lord Chaitanya turned to Srivas Pandit and he asked Srivas Pandit, recite some verses about Lord Krishna. Now the devotees of Lord Chaitanya, and of course Lord Chaitanya also, but all the devotees in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they should know the verses from the scriptures and we should be able to recite nice verses. So Srivas immediately began to recite beautiful verses describing Lord Krishna as he enters the forests of Vrindavan. How his, he has Karnikara flowers decorating his ear. And his lotus mouth is playing on the flute to most transcendental sounds. 
And his lotus feet are decorating the forest of Vrindavan with his footprints. So Srivas Pandit recite when he recited this verse, then immediately Lord Nichananda became ecstatic and he fell on the floor and he could not move. So Lord, Lord Chaitanya told Srivas, keep reciting, recite more verses. And Srivas continued to recite more and more verses about the beauty of Krishna. And Lord Nityananda was rolling on the floor with tears coming from his eyes like a river. The whole floor was flooded with water coming from his tears. And sometimes Lord Nityananda would stand up and he would call out, Krishna, Krishna, and he would jump in the air and fall down heavily on the ground. He would fall so heavily on the ground, all the devotees would worry that all the bones in his body would break. And it was only Lord Chaitanya who could come there and embrace him and calm him and pick him up. So, in this way, Lord Chaitanya was revealing to all the other devotees that Lord Nityananda is a very, very, a very special devotee and that they should be very careful and treating him properly and honoring him. So Lord Nityananda is a very colorful personality and he did he did, does not belong to any particular ashram. He is Avaduta. Avadut means he's transcendental to these different material designations. Avadutas are the most elevated of sannyasis. This is the position of Lord Nityananda. And so Lord Nityananda had come to Mayapur and generally he would stay in the home of Srivas Pandit. Srivas Pandit's home was the place where many of the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took place. And 
And Lord Nityananda had a very special relationship with Srivas Pandit and his wife. They were like his mother and father, and they treated Lord Nityananda just like their son. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, at that time, Lord Chaitanya's mother Sachi would treat Lord Nityananda like he was her like Mother Sachi had already an elder, there was a boy before Lord Chaitanya, his name Tad means that she vishwarup, tad ye sho sanyas. So when Nitai came there, Mother Sachi would think of Nityananda as being like her eldest son who had gone away from home. So Lord Nityananda's behavior was often unusual. Sometimes he would behave like a child and he would take his clothes off and walk around naked. Lord Chaitanya would have to tell him. Lord Chaitanya would make him put cloth on, or Lord Chaitanya would come and personally put cloth on him. Uh, Lord Chaitanya ordered Lord Nityananda to go with Haridas. He wanted them to go out for preaching. So he gave them very important instructions. There's a famous verse in the Chaitanya Bhagwat which is very, very well known by all devotees. Suno Suno Nityananda Suno Haridas Pretty Gari Gari Gia Koroe Biksha Bolo Krishna Bajo Krishna Koro Krishna Shiksha. This is the Bengali language. And so in Bengali language, Lord Chaitanya told uh, Lord Nityananda and Haridas, he said, I want you to go door to door to every home in every street and beg the people, fall at their feet and beg them to read the books about Krishna, to chant the name of Krishna and to worship Krishna. Yes. So, when Lord Nityananda got this order, he went with Haridas, and Lord Nityananda is a very bold preacher. He doesn't go to the easiest people to preach to. He finds the people who are the most difficult, the most fallen. He goes to them to preach. So, 
为这那天娜娜呢，她就跟哈利达斯卡夫一起出去传教了。然后，但是呢，她通常不走寻常路的，啊，她就要找的话，就找那种最难啃的骨头。So at that time, there were two debauchees named Jagai and Madhai. Who were actually born in a Brahmana family, but had become very degraded and very sinful. So, in that time, there were two Jagai. They were called Jagai and Madai. Although they were born in the Brahmana family, they were very sinful. There was no sin they had not committed. That is to say, no sin. If there was a young girl with an old father who was blind, and she would be taking care of her poor blind father, they would come and they would knock the blind father into the ditch, and they would take the young girl and rape her. 然后，比如说啊，如果有一个小女啊，有一个年轻的女子，她和她呃的父亲生活在一起，而她的爸爸呢又是瞎子，然后呢啊，加盖马代他们就会去啊这个去去到他们家，然后嘛把那个呃瞎眼的爸爸呢把他一拳打到沟里去，然后呢就去强暴这这家的女孩子等等。So Lord Nityananda thought, if we can make these two into devotees, then it will be very good. The people will understand the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Nityananda thought, if we can make these two people into devotees, then it will be very good. The people will understand the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No, Mahaprabhu the Lilia. 知道马哈帕布的仁慈和力量。OK。So, on the first attempt, Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda went there. The Jagai and Madhai were drinking; they were intoxicated. And when they came there and asked them to chant the holy name, then Jagai and Madhai became very angry, and they came to attack them. And Hari Das and Lord Nityananda had to run away. 所以当哈德斯和尼切南德他们去找加盖马代的时候呢，他们在喝酒。当他们去请求他们吟诵圣名的时候啊，啊，就激怒了这两个，啊，这这两个恶徒。所以他们反倒过来要去追，要要去追打这个哈哈德斯。嗯，所以呢，他俩只能啊，仓皇，仓皇。Sometimes Hari Das would complain. Ananda is very difficult. <laughs> Hari Das said, "I'm an old man. I can't run as fast as him. When we get chased by these demons, I can't run as fast as." <laughs> 怎么办啊 ？And sometimes he goes to the when he sees a pretty young girl. Sometimes he will see a pretty young Muslim girl, and he will ask the young girl to marry him. 然后吧，有时候我们一起出去，就那天呢，那他看到一个年轻的穆斯林女孩，然后他就跟人家说：“哎，我们结婚吧，嫁给我吧。”他就他就让人家嫁给他。But Lord Chaitanya said. Even if Lord Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl, and even if he goes into the bar and drinks alcohol, still we should never disrespect Lord Nityananda because he's a very very great personality. So, then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just answered Hari Das Thakur. Even if Nityananda marries a Muslim girl
So Lord Chaitanya said one day to Srivas, he said, you know, why do you let Nityananda stay in your home? You know, he's, he'll bring you a bad reputation. But Shiva said, I can never give up the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Even if he does marry a Muslim girl, or even if he does go in the bar and drink alcohol, I will never give up the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. So Lord Chaitanya was very pleased with these words of Srivas Pandit and he gave Srivas Pandit a blessing. And the blessing was that even if the goddess of fortune becomes poverty stricken, he said, Your home will never know any poverty. <laughs> and this, this is what happened. Srivas Pandit, none of, they were all Brahmanas. They, none of them worked. They didn't have any jobs because they were Brahmins. They didn't do sudra work. They all did the work of Brahmins. They studied the scriptures and they worshipped the deity. They didn't worry about money, but still everything was provided by the grace of the Supreme Lord. So they had failed, Haridas and Lord Nityananda had failed at the first attempt, but actually there's no failure in Krishna consciousness. They were glorious because they made the attempt. Because they um they made the attempt. They made the attempt. Why is it that in the Christian world there is no success? Because they made the effort. They made the effort. Now Lord Chaitanya was very pleased with them that they'd gone to these two people and tried to talk, tell them to chant the holy name. So it happened that after some days they got the opportunity to again come across Jagai and Madhai. And the two Jagai and Madhai, they were, they were intoxicated, they had a pot of wine with them, they were engaged in their drinking. So Nityananda came in front of them and told them, Why don't you two chant the holy names of Lord Krishna? And so Jagai brought his wine pot and hit Lord Nityananda on the head with it, and it, it 
uh, uh, cracked his, drew blood from his forehead. So immediately, Lord Chaitanya came running. He had heard that the, the, the two had attacked Lord Nityananda. And Lord Chaitanya came running there. He was going to kill them. He was calling for his Sudarshan Chakra. And he wanted to kill the two of them. But it was Lord Nityananda who intervened and he told them, No, my Lord, in this age you must be merciful. So the two of them, Jagai and Madhai, they fell at the feet of Lord Chaitanya and they begged for mercy. So Lord Chaitanya told them, all right, I'll be merciful this time, but never fall down, never do anything like this ever again. So the two of them, I mean, they, tra they transformed and they actually became very good devotees. And you can see they're described as being part of the tree of Lord Chaitanya's devotees. They never fell down again. And the one who had hit Lord Nityananda on the head, he felt very, very guilty. So he came to Lord Nityananda, after some time he came to Lord Nityananda and he was feeling very repentant and he begged Lord Nityananda, please give me some service which I could do, which I could atone, which I could please you with. So Lord Nityananda told him, he said, you can go to the bank of the Ganges and you make a, make a place where the pilgrims can come and bathe there. And you can be there every day and you serve the pilgrims. You take care of their cloth and you look after the pilgrims and you can also massage them when they come there to bathe in the Ganga. So the two brothers, Jagai and Madhai, they, they made a ghat at the side of Mother Ganga. And every day they would be there and the pilgrims would come and they would fold their clothes for them and they would take care of the pilgrims and serve the pilgrims and all the pilgrims would bless them. And 
然后每天呢都有朝圣的人到他们这个地方去沐浴，他们就会为朝圣的人给他们拿衣服啦，啊，然后做各种各样的卑微的服务。所以这些朝圣的人呢，他们都非常对他们的服务都非常满意，都会去祝福他们俩。So there's one gat there today. They call it Jagai Madai Gat, and it's the same from 500 years ago. The place where they used to serve the pilgrims. 嗯，所以在恒河岸边呢，直到今天都有他们建造的这个沐浴的台阶和沐浴的场，这个被地方被叫做 Jagai Madai Ghat。嗯。So it happened that Lord Chaitanya decided he's going to take sannyas. He's going to go to Katwa, which is on the other side of the Ganges, and he when he takes sannyas. He will leave Mayapur. He won't be there because his wife is there. He has to go away from the the wife. 那么然后呢，主持人呀就准备去啊，就是嗯，接受三尼亚，就是脱果僧阶层。那么他准备去喀土瓦去那去那里接受脱果僧。那么呃，因为呢，就是接受脱果僧的话，他就是说就要离开家庭嘛，所以他不能在。So when Lord Chaitanya went to Katwa at that time, Lord Nityananda also came there to Katwa with some other devotees. Only a few devotees knew Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was taking sannyas, but Lord Nityananda was one of them. He was there. So, Lord Chaitanya to Katwa to receive sannyas, this matter is very secret. 那么，所以呢，其实几乎大多数的僧人都是不知道的。那么就只有啊，就那天南达当时呢也去了喀土瓦，就其他亚马哈帕布呢，其他的还带了一几个非常亲密的朋友去了那里。嗯。So, in Katwa, there's the ashram of Keshava Bharati. He gave sannyas to. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And after Lord Chaitanya took sannyas, he immediately wanted to go to Vrindavan. So all the Lord Nityananda and the other devotees, they were with Lord Chaitanya, and they said, "Yeah, we'll let's go. We'll go with you." 就那天呢，他接受了三加四体力之后呢，他很想啊去 Vrindavan， 所以呢，那么他的这些朋友们，他们都说，所有的奉献者们说，哇，我们要跟你一起去。So they were walking, and after some time, they came to a river, and Lord Chaitanya said, "Oh, is this the Yamuna?" 然后他们走了一段时间呢，就来到一条河。And Lord Nityananda said, "Yes, this is the Yamuna." So Lord Chaitanya is very pleased. He's thinking we're coming to Vrindavan very soon. Then Lord Chaitanya is very happy. 哦、oh, ，太好了！我马上就要到 Vrindavan 了，这不是已经就是雅木纳河了吗 ？And so they were walking and walking. Then after some time, then they saw this personality coming on the boat down the down the river, and then they saw the person in the boat was Advaita Acharya. 所以呢，他们走啊走啊，然后结果就看到呢，有人划着船过来了。So Lord Chaitanya was surprised. He said, "What? He said, 'Advaita Acharya, what are you doing here, here in Vrindavan?'" Then Lord Chaitanya was very surprised. He said, "Hey, Advaita Acharya, why are you here in Vrindavan? What are you doing here?" So Advaita Acharya told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, "He said, 'Wherever you are, my lord, that is Vrindavan.'" Uh, Lord Krishna never leaves Vrindavan, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna. So wherever he goes, that's Vrindavan. 
，就 Krishna 从来不离开 Vrindavan， 而就 Chaitanya 就是 Krishna 本人，所以呢，啊，他从来不离开 Vrindavan， 他在哪哪就是 Vrindavan。So actually, what happened was the devotees were bringing Lord Chaitanya to Shantipur, which is the home of Advaita Acharya. So, Lord Chaitanya was a little angry at. Lord Nityananda, that you tricked me. You told me I was going Vrindavan. This is not Vrindavan. But Lord Nityananda said, "No, he said, I didn't cheat you. He said you asked me, 'Is this the Yamuna?' So the Yamuna joins on to the Ganga at that side, and the side where you asked me, that's the side where the Yamuna flows into the Ganga. So I didn't, I didn't trick you. I told you the truth." So, 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 so
就南达拿着主持天马普布的这个南达的时候呢，嗯、呃、嗯、呃、有，他在某一个时刻就把就那天南达这个南达呢，把它折成了三段。And then he threw the three pieces away into a river nearby. So after some time, Lord Chaitanya said, Where's my danda? Who's got my danda? He said, "Didn't I? I gave it to you, Lord Nichananda. I gave my danda to you. Where's my danda? What have you done with it?" Lord Nichananda said, "Oh, my Lord, don't you remember when we were having kirtan?" When we were having kirtan, you you dumped, you were dancing, and you jumped very high, and you fell on the danda, and it broke. Lord Chaitanya was not very happy to hear this. He was very upset. He he said, "All right." He said, "You people, you do like that." He said, "I'm not going to Puri with you. You go on your own." He said, I, "You can either I will go ahead or you go ahead." And so they told Lord Chaitanya, "You go first. We'll follow behind." But Lord Chaitanya said, I'm "Not coming with you." <laughs> Uh, so this is the position of Lord Nityananda, that he is so, such a great personality that he can break the danda of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But we should understand the significance of Lord Nityananda breaking the danda. The, the, the significance is that, first of all, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Lord, that he doesn't need a danda, he doesn't belong to any ashram. And another explanation which is sometimes given is that Lord Nityananda broke the danda into three. So he was indicating that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not a Mayavadi sannyasi, he's a Tridandi sannyasi. The Mayavadis, they have the Ekadanda, they have the one rod. But the Vaishnavas, they have the three dandi, three rods together.
So Lord Chaitanya came to Jagannath Puri and he stayed there and uh, then he sent all the devotees back that you go back to Bengal and preach. He said, now I'm here in Jagannath Puri. He said, every year you can come and visit me. And it was arranged that Lord Nityananda, that he would get married, and he accepted, uh, there were two sisters actually, they became the wives of Lord Nityananda. The two sisters were born in a very, very, very good, they were the daughters of Sanatana Pandit. He was a very great devotee of Lord Chaitanya. And it, it said these two sisters that they were previously the two wives of Lord Balaram. Lord Balaram had also two wives. His wives, one wife was Varuni and the other wife was Revati. So these two, Varuni and Revati, they came as the two sisters. So, the two sisters, of course, their names are Jana, Janava and Vashuda. Vashuda and Janava. And so Lord Nityananda comes back to Bengal and every, they're preaching, but every year they come to Jagannath Puri and they, there would be a party of devotees coming from Mayapur every year. They would come to go to the Rathiyatra and they would stay with in Jagannath Puri and they would get the association with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So there is one very interesting pastime which takes place when they're going to Jagannath Puri. It's described in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. That they have to go, they have to cross many rivers and they have to cross from different, one state into another state and sometimes it takes time, they have to sometimes pay toll or pay taxes and before they can go. They have to pay taxes. Pay taxes. Okay. So sometimes it would be delayed. Everything would be taken care of. All the paperwork would be taken care of by one devotee named Shivananda Singh. So it happened one time they were delayed, there was some delay and uh, the devotees were all waiting and it was very hot and there was no shelter and they hadn't taken prasadam. 
啊，有一次呢，就是为了等这些文件的话呢，就是这些文件就晚到了嘛，所以奉献者呢，他们就在一个地方在那里等，而且那个地方呢，大家都在大太阳下面，然后又没有奉献者也没有菩萨的吃，所以呢，呃，就就产生了这样一些情况。And so they were waiting a long time, and Lord Nityananda was becoming quite angry, and he got so angry at one point. That he he said, "I curse Shiva and the saints, children all to die." Then, so Nityananda couldn't stand it. The devotees were in the sun, they were still hot, and they were still hot. 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 And when Lord Chaitanya cursed the children all to die, then the wife of Shivananda Singh she began to cry, that oh Lord Nityananda has cursed all our children to die. And then finally, Shivananda Singh came. And everything was taken care of, and he saw his wife crying. And he said, "What's wrong? Why are you crying?" And she told her husband, "Lord Nityananda's cursed our children to die." And so, Lord.、Uh, So, so Shivananda Singh said, "Oh, if Lord Nityananda has cursed our children to die, let them die. It doesn't matter. Why are you crying?" And then Lord Nityananda came, and he saw Shivananda sitting there, so he kicked him. Ah, and then Nityananda, 正好这个时候就过来了，然后他一脚就踢，就是踢踢到啊，把那个那西班牙的圣呢给踢倒了。And Shivananda Singh said, "Oh, today I'm blessed. I've received the dust of your lotus feet on my body." <laughs> so Lord Nityananda was very impressed to see the faith which Shivananda Singh had in Lord Nityananda. 啊、so Lord Nityananda was preaching everywhere, and he he would often get presents from wealthy people. Some people they they would give him some gold necklace or different. Valuable ornaments, and Lord Nityananda would put them on his body, and he'd wear them. Different rings, sometimes, and necklaces. He had these different ornaments all on his body. So there was a gang of thieves, and they saw Lord Nityananda wearing all these valuable ornaments. So they thought we should go there and we should steal everything he's got. 然后呢，结果呢，就是天南的这个富裕的装扮呢，就吸引了一帮强盗。这帮强盗就想，哎呦，这里有好东西嘛，我们哪天得劫持一下这个人哦。So they came to the place where Lord Nityananda was staying with his devotees, and they said, "We'll just wait until it gets a little dark." And they said, "We'll just let's." 
just sit down and wait till it gets dark, and when it gets dark, we'll go in and we'll steal everything. So they sat down, and by the influence of Maya, they fell asleep. And they didn't wake up until the next morning. And they thought, oh no, we've missed our chance. We better go away, we'll come back another time. So they came back another time, uh, but this time when they came back the second time, they saw there were these, there were these huge men surrounding the camp. And they were huge, and they all had neck beads, toasty neck beads around their neck, and big tilak markings on their body. But they were huge, and they were carrying big sticks. They were like bodyguards guarding the camp. So they saw these men, they thought, oh my goodness, we could never defeat any of these men. These people are huge. We, we, we can't do anything to, this, to the people today. We'll come back another time. So they went away. After some days, they came back and they thought, this time we're going to get the jewels. This time we're going to do it. Nothing's going to stop us this time. So just as they were moving towards the camp, to enter into the camp, suddenly the whole sky became black and the sun was covered and, and it began thunder and lightning and then there were heavy Lumps of ice falling from the sky. The, the, it was so dark, the, the thieves couldn't see where they were going, and many of them fell into the pit of garbage. And met, some of them broke their bones, and they were bitten by different insects and snakes. And they were all suffering terribly. Then, then the leader of the leader of the thieves began to think what had happened. And he thought, this, 
this man Nityananda, he must be some very, very powerful yogi. He must be a great mystic. How is it all of these things have happened to us? So he came to Lord Nityananda and he fell at the feet and he begged Lord Nityananda to forgive him and he told him how he'd been planning to steal everything. So Lord Nityananda accepted him, gave him shelter at his lotus feet and then told him, go and preach to your friends and make all these other thieves also devotees. So so in this way, many thieves were also converted to devotees. So it is said, Dinahina Yata Chilo Harinam Udarilo Tarashakshi Jagai Madhai. That even fallen souls like Jagai and Madhai can be made into devotees by the mercy of Lord Nityananda. Mm. So Lord Nityananda is the original spiritual master. He is none different from Lord Balaram, and Lord Balaram is the original spiritual master. So by the mercy of the spiritual master, we get the mercy of Krishna. We see the example of Raghunath Das Goswami, that Raghunath was born in a very wealthy family, but he wanted to leave home and become a devotee. So, initially he had approached Lord Chaitanya, but Lord Chaitanya sent him back home and said, just be a normal person, just keep Krishna in your heart. 嗯，所以呢，他呃，他初期的时候呢，他接近就Chaitanya，然后呢，就Chaitanya就训斥他说你应该回乡，然后呢，去做你应该做的这些不定职责。But uh, then Lord Nityananda came to a place called Panihati, which is on the banks of the Ganges, and Lord Nityananda came there, and he Lord, uh, it was arranged that. Uh, Raghunath would put on a big feast for Lord Nityananda and all his devotees in Panihati. They had a festival where everyone was fed uh, flat rice along with dahi, which is a very popular food in the very hot weather in the summer. It's very humid in Bengal, so people get cool by taking yogurt and flat rice. 
。所以呢，就是在这个节日上的话呢，然后呢，大家。嗯，他就专门安排，呃，就是所有的人都能够得到一种呃特非常特别的这个 fashion， 这是由碘米和酸奶做成的啊、呃、一个啊一、呃、一个一个一一种吃的 fashion。那么这种 fashion 呢，它就是因为在印度非常的炎热，所以它很适合在夏天的时候，让人们的体温能够降低下来，是很舒服的。Even today, every year they have this festival on the day. Where they have this Shiradahi festival in honor of Lord Nityananda giving mercy to Raghunath, and he blessed Raghunath that he'd get freed from his material life. So, 呢，即便到今天的话，在帕尼哈提，每年都有这个这样一个纪念日，就是主尼提南达祝福啊 ，Raghunanda 的都顺利的这个嗯，这个祝福，就是为什么呢？就是。因为 Dragona， 但是他之前的话，他一直没有办法从家里出，就是就是从家里跑跑跑跑跑出去，所以呢，就那天呢，那婆婆就给到他祝福说，啊，他能够摆脱家庭的这个纠缠，啊，就能够能够能够达成他的这个愿望。So that that pastime teaches us that by the mercy of the spiritual master, we get the mercy of Krishna. 这个、we cannot go directly to Krishna without going through the spiritual teachers. 也就是说，我们不能啊，我们不不能够直接的去找 Krishna 啊，不不去仰赖灵性导师的仁慈，我们要通过灵性导师才能得到主的仁慈。So Lord Nityananda had many wonderful disciples, and it said the last disciple of Lord Nityananda was a person called Vrindavan Das Thakur. He wrote the book Chaitanya Bhagwat. 那么主尼天南的呢，他有很多的门徒。据说他在所有的门徒里面，最后一个门徒呢就是 Vrindavan Das Thakur。那么他呃写专门写了。What which book? Chaitanya Bhagavat. Bhagavat. Okay. Ah, Vrindavan Das Thakur. He wrote the Chaitanya Bhagavat book. Just as Srila Vyasadeva wrote the pastimes of Krishna, Vrindavan Das Thakur wrote the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur is described as the Vyasadeva of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. 就好像是 Vyasadev 呢，嗯，他是，嗯，就是转把把主 Krishna 的逍遥时光都记载下来一样。那么，所以呢，就是 Vrindavan Das Thakur 呢，他记载了所有的主 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 的这个逍遥时光，所以他被誉为是 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 逍遥时光当中的 Vyasadev。And the other book which we know about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Chaitanya Charitamrita. That is also the mercy of Lord Nityananda. 而嗯，就是另外一本关于主持《太阳马普逍遥时光》的书，叫做《永恒的切塔亚经》切塔亚切塔姆瑞塔。而这本书能够得能够成书呢，也是借由主尼天南达巴布的仁慈而成书的。Mm, of course, the Chaitanya Charitamrita was written by Krishna Das Kaviraj. So Krishna Das Kaviraj was initially living with his brother. 那么永恒的水太爱听呢是由 Krishna Das Kaviraj 来撰写的。那么 Krishna Das Kaviraj 呢，他原先是和他的兄弟住在一起。But his brother was a devotee of Lord Chaitanya, but he did not accept Lord Nityananda. 但是他的兄弟呢，是主持太阳的奉献者。但他并不接受主尼天南达。So his Krishna Das Kaviraj had told his brother, he said, "You have faith in one, but you don't have faith in the other. That is, there is hypocrisy." 啊，所以呢，嗯，就是，嗯 ，Krishna Das Kaviraj 他就对他的兄弟说，你接受一个，而不接受另外一个，其实，啊，这就是虚伪。It's better to be an atheist than a hypocrite. 那么宁宁愿的就是你宁愿做一个啊无神论者，也不要做一个这样虚伪的人
He said, your philosophy, you accept one brother, you don't accept the other brother, that is like having half a hen. The front part eats the food, the back part lays the eggs. You want to cut the front part off for eating the food, you just want to keep the back part, you cannot. You cannot worship Krishna and not accept Shiva. That you cannot do that. In the same way, you cannot accept Lord Chaitanya and reject Lord Nityananda. So it happened that one day a great devotee of Lord Nityananda named Miniketana Ramdas came to the home of Krishna Das Kaviraj. Mini, Mini Ketana Ram Das. Mini Ketana Ram Das. So he, he was a great devotee of Lord Nichananda and he was a very playful person. He had a flute and he would often sometimes hit people with a flute and he, he would, you know, some, when people would offer obeisances to him, he would call and he would crawl on their back. But when he came to their home, the brother of Krishna Das Kaviraj was not nice to him. He did not respect Ram Das. And, and so Ram Das was not very happy and he ended up breaking his flute and he left the home in disgust. So Krishna Das Kaviraj warned his brother, he said, this is very inauspicious, this is not good for you at all. So that night, in Krishna Das Kaviraj, when he lay down to take rest, in his dream, Lord Nityananda appeared to him, and Lord Nityananda appeared along with all of his associates. And Lord Nityananda told Krishna Das Kaviraj that you should leave this house. Don't stay here. You go to Vrindavan. So, when Krishna Das Kaviraj woke up from his dream, he immediately, without spending any time, he immediately got out from the house and he never came back. He went to Vrindavan and he got the shelter of Rupa and Sanatan. So he understood by the mercy of Lord Nityananda, he'd been delivered from that nasty association 
of his people who had no faith in Lord Nityananda. And Krishna Das went to Vrindavan and he wrote Chaitanya Charitamrita there. Uh, so that we see the mercy of Lord Nityananda, how he delivers the souls from the material world. So it's a very auspicious day for us to have the initiation of some devotees there. Hmm. So initiation is connecting the devotees into the disciplic succession, which is coming through Lord from Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And connecting, us, connecting also them to the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada, who is the founder Acharya of the society. We understand taking initiation connects us into the, the society of the devotees. All right, so where is Chen Mataji? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so you have to offer obeisances. Where have you got the altar there? Have we got the altar? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, we have just uh, behind you. You have to go to the altar, go to the altar and offer obeisances. Yeah, what are So who's going to introduce the devotees? Uh, uh, you're uh, you there? Uh, uh, Lakshmana is there. Lakshmana is there, yeah. Yes. Lakshmana will tell us about the Lakshmana devotee. Lakshmana, go yeah. Hare Krishna, Lakshmana. Hare Krishna. Uh, 
安排节目，啊呃，灵修也是啊越来越稳定了，而且呢，啊，他有了强烈的想要脱皮灵异导师的这个愿望，所以呢，啊，在就是他们小组的奉献者以及是相信部奉献者的一致的同意下呢，我们是啊给予我们真诚的一个推荐啊。呃，希望就是他能够托庇在您的莲花足下啊、呃，这样能够在军事的直觉的道路上开启一个新的开始啊，能够很好的啊，每呃进步啊，灵性进步，能最终能够啊，在这一世能够获得成功啊，呃，希望我们能够啊，看到呃，陈燕丽妈开启啊，就是有今天这样一个非常吉祥的开始，我们所有人给予真诚的祝福。好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，Is Radha Balabi Devi Dasi? Oh, Radha Balabi Devi Dasi Ki Jai. Radha Balabi, one who gives pleasure to Radharani, right? Okay, can you tune in? We'd like to give you Japa beats, but we haven't figured out how to get them there yet. Guru已经给你准备好你的念珠了，那现在呢就是要找到方法怎么给到你。I just give me. Okay, now we have the um, back to Tom, is it? Tom Jin? Lakshma, Lakshmana Mataji will also introduce? Yamuna Mataji will introduce. Okay. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Buddha Nishima Di Bhakti Vigrama Nash Parashim Hai Tamya Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Buddha Nishima Di Bhakti Vigrama Swami Namaste Sarasvati Devi Kaurvani Tachami Nya Vishesha Shyamadi Pashtra Devi Sthavi Jaya Shri Krishna Chantanya Prabhu Yananda Shadai Vakrara Shri Sthavi Kaur Bhakti Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Yamana? Namaste Thank you. 
他们两位跑步呢，进入了时间呢两三年不长，但是他们的奉爱特别特别的强烈，想要呃非常的了解 Krishna 之觉，然后呢就在 g o p i g i t a 和他的跑步 n a l a n a p a n d i t 跑步的特别的呃关注下啊，他们呢成长很快，呃各有特点，他们共同的特点就是。他们很爱奎西娜，愿意做服务啊。啊那么金立龙跑步呢，特别的擅长，呃，出去传播奎西娜之觉啊，派书啊，呃，然后还特别专注于做菩萨的。所以咕噜的，你来的时候，你就不用担心了，有跑步给你做菩萨的。哦，太好了。<笑><笑>呃，越做越好了。今天他是呃，虽然是加戈皮卡做主厨，他还是很早就来了做帮厨。啊、呃，爸爸不，他哎、呃，然后还在每次节日当中给其他的奉献者呃派发菩萨的啊。对，还经常做点心，然后对外活动的时候。哎，还对外活动，还要提供提供这些菩萨的，是吧？这个太好吃了！哇！好，哎，你看看，所有的奉献者都要介绍了，对吧？他三个月不到，他就开始下厨房，就开始洗碗了，洗碗了，三个月不到就开始洗碗了。披萨超好吃，哈哈哈哈哈！当然，我就不可以。哈哈哈哈哈！我就不可以。哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！
，然后他很认真的要给菠萝献花，是这样的吗？好，他还要去看书，还在地铁上给给别人看书。啊，今今天我让他，因为为了菠萝的安全，为了我们的安全，不要都带人来，所以他也不带他的宝宝来。是的，是的，是的是的是的是,的是的，所以呢，他不仅自己努力在学习亏心那自觉，而且把他的家人和他的呃奉劝在都能逐步的引领到亏心那自觉当中来。所以，布鲁德，你给他们仁慈，给他们祝福吧。好，好的，亏心那，好了，我们就介绍到这里。哇、wow. ，OK， thank you， Yamuna。OK， 同同金，不不，你也可以告诉我们这个规范是什么？准备准备说，接受什么规范？三个是不主播，第四个是不吸食吗？这里。每天念诵多少串？天至少念诵十六千以上。好，所以。这个是你的邻居，你的名字，你叫哪的 ？Ram Das。好，还有，做 Prabhu。So, Prabhu, you need to go away. What do you think of Gwai Fan Shishema? I'm not going to go away. Oh, okay, same thing, bye. Same thing, bye, same thing, bye. Namo Vishnu Bhattaya, Krishna Prishta Pudare, Shimadi Bhakti Vikna Vinasan, Nana Singha Vikinamine, Namo Vishnu Bhattaya, Krishna Prishta Pudare, Shimadi Bhakti Vikna Swami Dinamine, Namaste, Sarsavati Devi Gauravani Pachani Manir, Vishesha Shunya Vidipasta Jajatamina, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Abhidhattada Shri Pati Gaula Pati Munda, Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari. One important thing is that actually it's not my mercy which they need, but because they're in ISKCON we get the shelter of Srila Prabhupada. So it's Prabhupada's mercy. 嗯，有一点很重要的，你们需要去理解的，就是说，不是啊，你们啊，是因为不是因为我的仁慈啊，你们得到这个仁慈，而是说你们脱避于 ISKCON， 其实就这个仁慈是来自于谁而爬不爬的。嗯 ，Right, you so you're making a vow also not to leave ISKCON. 你们要啊，所以你们要呢，发誓永远不离开伊斯康，发下这个誓言，你们三个。That's very, very important. Okay, and now, so your name? Oh, we must say goodbye. Funny, you didn't show up, Lama. No, 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 no. Say it. 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 呃，不过非法性生活，呃，然后呃，不赌博，不吸食麻醉品，还是 Krishna。每天。每天一增，至少十六千。OK。永远不离开伊斯卡。你的名字。阿丘特尼泰达斯。Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Okay. So thank you all very much. We'll let you take prasadam. Nima do elama. Uh, uh, Haribo, Jai Gopika, Hare Krishna.
<laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is <laughs> Oh Namaturan. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Ganshiniman, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.